There we go. It's recording again. So, can you actually hear me on Zoom, Chrissy? Hello. Hello. Well, <laughs> barring some technical difficulties with connection to the Zoom, looks like we're actually getting connected finally. Nice. Uh, I don't see that anyone else is on here. I don't know if there's waiting room or anything. It doesn't look like there's a waiting room. Um, of course, it doesn't tell me anything about a waiting room. Um, yeah, I don't see. Uh, in by when I looked at it, it looked like the waiting room was turned, the toggle was off. Okay. Copy invite link. Yeah, copy the invite link to clipboard. And then if I do this correctly, I should just be able to pull up Google for a second, up on Messenger and send it to a couple people. See if I can get some other people on here. Can you still see me okay? Still there. Right. I'm here. Okay. And I'm still, uh, I gotta move this over. It's blocking that part of the screen for me. <laughs> uh, the functionality of technology throughout. It's a total learning curve for us artists in some ways. We're used to doing things with our hands. That's right. <laughs> a whole new world. Oh yeah. You crazy world. And then, uh, so like I was trying to say before, I'm Chris Knight. I do, the, uh, I'm a business owner for the Cycle and Repurpose Artist Cooperative. I graduated from Franklin Pierce College in, or actually university in 2017 with a bachelor degree in science with an integrated focus on English and business. Um, I then went to Costa Rica and came back from my trip and started my art business. My goal has been to connect with any artists I know in any way, shape, or form, because I know artists have a tendency just to do their work, but not get out there and do the networking and connecting with people to put it out there and like many artists I know, myself included at points, we are really good at helping other people get their art and their value for their work and almost always intuitively undervalue what we do. That said, mm -hmm. part of the mindset function, building and adjustments with how you linguistically and neurally program yourself is all about switching your words, your focus, and your ability to understand that you block yourself in some ways. Fear versus action. Simple things, just like doing this Zoom, are little actions that we build upon that might not seem like much, but a little change consistently over a period of time is an amazing amount of growth. With that said, I do a bunch of different art. I, this year, I've started doing bi-weekly meditation, Zoom painting. Right behind me, you can see my chakra dragon from last week's Zoom. And put this content and my Zoom onto um, the YouTube channel. We're building subscribers. Chrissy has a YouTube channel as well. Do you have a particular name for your YouTube channel, Chrissy? Popping in and out, apparently. I'm going to have to take my Wi Fi down a notch on the phone so that the computer will stay functioning good. <laughs> Uh, so with that, you do some free content on there. 
helping actors learn how to be functional from home anywhere during this odd year that we're just went through. The yeah. August. Yeah, I think to get out to our venues and do the hard in person stuff that we all are used to doing as our primary mode of operation. Yeah. I mean, I'm used to being able to grab a carload of paintings and things and go to a festival and set up shop and try to sell my wares. Mm -hmm. It's a lot different than putting yourself out there online through social media and other things so that you can build your store and put it in an e-venue so that you have access to wider audiences than just in person. That said, that's some of the stuff that you're working on with connecting your acting to the social networks and brokering deals for each other and advertising and connecting up with leads for connecting other artists to like even in your acting you have, need people such as myself to paint backgrounds and things like that when you're on full stage I'd love to hear more from your perspective at the moment. Yeah, so I um, I provide professional business strategies to artists, to voiceover artists and actors. And uh, I do that. I deliver that content, as you mentioned, through my YouTube channel, which is Make a Living Acting Anywhere. And through that, I essentially connect with my community and it, you know, I think a lot of actors believe that, and I believe that any artists come out of wherever they're coming out of, whether it be high school, college, or some type of art school or academy, they believe that the only way to success is through some other venue or place or person that they can get their, you know, their career off the ground and running. And I, and with actors and voiceover artists, they think that's through an agent. Um, but that isn't entirely true. People make an entire career with their art, um, even from their basement, which is where I am currently. This is my my home studio, and I make my living doing voiceover and acting with my own equipment. And so I'm basically teaching actors and artists how anybody could come on my channel. By the way, Chris, I mean, anybody, any entrepreneur, anybody who wants to own their own business or do their own hustle, can learn those business strategies that I teach to artists apply across the board to all businesses. And so I'm passionate about helping people make their living on their own terms, essentially. Absolutely. It's part of the ingenuity of being a creator. We work with different business strategies to functionally grasp what's going to work best for us. And I'm not going to be able to had a brick and mortar store that's going to have enough foot traffic to sell shocker dragons. But online, I can drop link here or there to a uh, Comic Con or a fantasy group online and maybe drum up 20, 30 hits from them checking out my page on this or my other dragon that I have that I put together on I did that on the 9th of February in 18 and I put it on in but in 2019, I put it, entered it into a contest for spooks and ghouls and whatnot for Lance Productions, something along Comic Con lines, and won second or third prize for $25 on painting that's literally on a 
inside out Cheerio box. <laughs> I, I use recycled mediums. My card, awesome. the art, the dragon is actually on a piece of cardboard that came out of the box for the bed frame I got at Christmas. Wow. Very cool. And of course, the minute I was doing the bed frame and whatnot, I realized I wanted to use that. And I threw together a quick YouTube video on my page just because that's part of the process. You don't show the process. People get the illusion when you get to be fully successful that you didn't struggle, that you had a clue in the being. And truth be told, I can sell art all day long. I know I can. Two people at shows mm -hmm. in places where I can talk to people face to face on a regular basis. I can sell other people's art because I know how to communicate. Having a store without traffic cuts my ability to promote and communicate with people, which is why functionally I don't have a brick and mortar store, but in the next week and a half, two weeks, we'll be adding to my Facebook, connecting my Facebook store and drop shipping so that I can help other artists send their art to people as well since a lot of people have a volume of stuff but no idea how to put it together get it out there or sell it so one of the things i offer is coaching mentorship for business and or mindset meditation energy there's a lot of synergy across all the mediums being hyper focused in one discipline might be a strategy that is atypical for academia but as artists being versatile across multiple mediums and disciplines benefits us more than myopic focus <laughs> From my personal experience, if you only focus on how to produce something, you're missing out on the other aspects that you can learn from the people involved in making it. Uh, it's like online, I, somebody asked about sound healing. And I know for a fact that every one of the colors I do for my meditations have corresponding crystals or rocks that can increase your vibration when you do meditation with them. I know this as a fact, but I don't know what they are yet. I also know that there's sound healing frequencies for each color and each chakra as well. When I get into this fully, I intend to ask one of my mentors to help me put together a full video of my visualization technique in animation so that the colors, the sounds, the rocks, all the good stuff connects down into something that can be seen so you can just visualize it yourself without having to imagine it. Just picture you in it. And then that is another sounding board for the next step to connecting to your higher self. And as part of the universe, always having your back, pure inspiration can be divine from your connection all the time. That painting was not pre-planned. It was a Zoom. I meditated and talked and painted as I went. And that's what I came up with. Two weeks ago, I did one. And the, I described the meditation technique as a cylinder clear tube that comes down through your chakras as you're centering, but it's also a morphogenic field that cycles around you and back down. As such, when I take each color for the chakra and sync them up with Hot water and cold water in the shower is part of a visualization technique to connect the physical exercises later. Each one of those rings 
I bring up into a morphogenic field spinning around me to bring in positivity. And because if you know anything about physics, centrifugal force, you try to throw something at something that's spinning, it's gonna bounce off. So it repels negativity. That image in your head all the time will energetically shift your mind. Two years ago, I realized I had problems with, I had an energy block associated with money. I shifted just a couple words from I struggle with my finances to I now have found a way to access all the money in the world. Uh -huh. We've got about 10 minutes left, Chrissy, according to Zoom. <laughs> of course, I should have done that. I should have gotten an extra 15, but that's because it didn't change the time and whatnot. Um, I'm going to attempt to do the paid Zoom in two weeks on the 25th at 10 a.m. We're looking to have people do $66 for the mentorship. Hopping on that next Zoom, there will be questions and answers. We are offering a discount for a couple of mentorship spots that we are building for other artists, business people, and entrepreneurs who are looking to improve their financial well being through their individual mediums or through adapting the things that either of us as artists, mentors, and business people do to up-level our own. We have a bunch of different opportunities. I'm in the process of scheduling a trip and workshops for late September, early October in Costa Rica. And if you attend the next paid Zoom, you will be possibly entered into the mentorship program with the option of joining on that trip. So, Chrissy, anything else you want to add in there at the end here? We got a few minutes left. I want to make, well, we've got about eight minutes left, but I wanted to get most, I think I covered a lot of it. I know that we are trying to offer a lot of value here. And I would say, you know, for sure, as people kind of stumble upon this live, um, there are people who are in it, but also people, if you're planning to post this, are going to be coming upon it. And so uh, as they're watching it, I would say in these last few minutes, anybody out there who has stumbled upon this and is interested in learning more comments and let us know any questions that you're having or any um, misgivings that you might be having or anything that you would like to learn specifically. And so that we can generate a conversation really that engages uh, each other, tag somebody in the post if you think that that would be uh, valuable to them so that we can really have a conversation and make sure that all of the things that are gonna be provided are really customer centric or based on the needs of the client. And that's what I would say for sure. Oh, yeah, because even in the process of trying to put this Zoom together, we struggle a little with the technology, but we took the time to plan ahead so that we wouldn't fail in the end. Because if you don't plan, it's a plan to fail. <laughs> so in the long run, we schedule, we plan, we highlight and outline what we're looking to discuss, how we want to structure the meetings, and what we're looking for to give people as value. We want you to know that we do free things here, we offer value over here, that there's tons of other people that we look to. I got a mentor named Slice De Niro, and my man G Nova Sound is helping me with some of the video content and knowing when and how to just, I was inspired to paint something on the box, record that at that moment, explain what the process is, where I'm going and what the next step is. I mean, functionally, I have five months worth of interaction with individual artists already planned out on top of scheduling other people well working towards in April, setting up a time for scheduling a publisher 
to work on putting out a book in December of next year. These are all avenues I'm trying to create because once you tap into the idea that exponentially, when you create something, you can create more of that thing. You tap into exponential growth instead of exponential work. Uh, it's a mindset in and of itself because what we can, what we create, if you take the time to plan ahead and know that I can get prints of that made, the original is going to cost $700 at the minimum. You know, on a copy of it printed up, I could probably do it for a hundred. But that's the sort of thing I'm talking about. You plan ahead to know where you're going. We already have planned ahead for the Zoom that we're going to do next. Not, well, I've planned ahead for my Zoom next Monday, which is free meditation at 10 a.m., visualization chakra, meditation, shielding with painting, which is where I do these, as a way of scheduling myself time to paint because, well, as an artist, sometimes life gets the better of me. I forget to do things. So the more I schedule myself, the more apt I am to produce the things in time and in a way that will benefit everyone in the long run. Next month, I'm working on having a buddy who does copper roses. I'm in the process of connecting with a few people to make it so that he can get to a studio and we can have them available before Valentine's Day so that and get his amazing artwork out. And this is where Chrissy and I will be collaborating to try to help mentor him in the process of doing the videos so that people can see his process too. Is he's incredibly uncomfortable with being on video and talking, which I understand completely, but he's an amazing artist and just like a lot of us out there doesn't know how to promote himself well enough, but is good at helping others and is talented beyond compare. When people who are classically trained pastel artists get mad at him for something he did in 20 minutes that looks so real, they, 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 they went to programs for master's degrees and He's doing what they took 20 years of study to do in 20 minutes. So, but like most of our artists, we all have our stumbling box. And well, sometimes it's ourselves getting in our own way, which is why I'm here talking with Chrissy. We got about two minutes left. She is a great entrepreneur. We are been friends for. God, almost, almost 20 plus years now. Um, we met in college. When, 23 college. years. <laughs> 23 oh. years ago, we met. Yeah. And it's been a wild journey. We worked together in college and created a club so that we could create community <laughs> service opportunities for everyone on campus. We also <laughs> networked like crazy to get all the other clubs on campus to work together. So we've been doing what we're doing now for over 20 years. We've got <laughs> knowledge and experience behind us. Check out our other free content. Chrissy, anything else to say in the last minute before we close this out? I always say you got this, go get it. <laughs> you know, I was like tapping in and I'm like, we have so many people we know connection wise. They don't even realize that they can be a part of something so much bigger when we just work together. It's not about the individual, though it is always individuals that make the community. So it is about you, what's in it for me, but it's also about the community, what's in it for us, and networking. We put it all together so everyone succeeds. A good old FPC individual and community. Yeah. <laughs> So, love it. 
with a lot of love. Linktree.com backslash art speaks freedom grows. Much love. We are putting it to everyone for putting your art out there and asking us for help. I think that's it. And we'll probably finish recording in a sec and kick us off and and then it'll download on the computer and it'll be up on YouTube in probably about two hours because of my Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'll talk to you later on this week. Chrissy, I've got my friend coming to help set up my store on Wednesday morning. Awesome. All right, Chris, thanks for having me on. I'll see you.